Welcome to Road to Glory Youth Edition Career Mode with All Limit Athletics. Welcome back to the Oldham Athletic Road to Glory Youth Edition or Youth Academy, I should say. Um, we are now episode 24. We're in season 2. And uh, we are coming up with the first game of the of this episode when we're playing Leighton Orient away. So far we have been doing really well. We have... Uh, well we're sitting top of the league. I'll show you the league table after this game. And uh, we have actually found quite a few gems in the academy. Um, Field, Pratt, two goal scorers. We got Aduama the left winger, we got Saunders, the central attacking midfielder. It's just some really, really good players that we, we found in the academy, and yeah, they have helped us. But <clears throat> the focus now will be, of course, to maintain the small gap that we have for the second and third. And we're going for that automatic promotion. Um, this is the team that's going to play late in Orient. We're going to go with Hoy and Goal. Late as a left back, Smith and Cooper central backs, and Riley on the right. Drake and Clayton are central defense midfielders. Saunders in front of them. Aduama and Coughlin on the wings. And then Field will play up front. We have both Pratt and Wang on the bench, as long as we have quite a few other young, really interesting talents. Um, the team is, if you can see it overall here, they're, they're coming together. Um, we are, we're pushed through on quite a few pl like players that, that pushed over 60s. We have Smith and Late that are almost 70s. Aduama too, they are all 68. We have uh, Saunders who is a 77. Fields a 66. They, you know, this team is ready for League One, definitely. And I, I just can't, I can't wait for, for, well, I just hope that we can make, make the, the push this season so we win this League 2 and we can actually go and play League 1 for Season 3. If we don't, I'm afraid we're going to lose a lot of the names here because I can't see that they would stay another year in League 2. So come on, boys. Three points. We're going to Matchroom Stadium. Let's just hope we get the points and that we win. Come on, boys, let's go. Hi, everyone. It is an absolutely splendid day for football, Make and we're looking forward to the game. My the name game. is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up offensively and also defensively the back four will be protected throughout the game this looks threatening after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick he'll take this on it might be on for them cutting the ball back I believe there's been a goal. No space for them here. Plays it back. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here.
Well, foul play, says the referee. And the referee decided that intervention was illegal and cautionable. Oh, without question, it was not the best of challenges. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box from wide areas. And then the finish couldn't be simpler, really. Given four doesn't even have to get up in the end. Just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Every goalkeeper would expect. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Now, keeper in control. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can they get in behind them? Excellent assessment of the situation. Fruitful looking attack. Must score! Well, swear, Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a third goal for the visitors. 59 minutes played, 3 1. Many thanks, Alan. Veering in field here. And still looking for space. So there we have it, 2-1. Is it going to end up being productive? And he's in. Has a go. And a goal. They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So there it is, 3-1, the current scoreline here. Wang. And now passing it through. Must be. And a goal. And running Ryan here. Almost out of sight. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now. Over it comes. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! There's just no stopping that. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Clay. Wilkinson. And he's broken free! He must finish! Oh, another goal! The blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always... A goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a second goal for the visitors. Five minutes remain. Can he finish them off? He's done it! What a climax to this game! And you have to say, it was on the cards! Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Wilkinson. And the pass could do damage. And it's in! They've eaten it to their advantage, and this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Hard. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Looks promising, this. And whipped into the box. No nonsense clearance. It might be on for them. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, they didn't disappoint today. They are deadly in front of goal, and they produced again. They will have given the coach a heart attack with some of that comedy stuff at the other end, though. The defending was shocking.
So we win five goals to four. That was was too many goals to be conceded, but we scored quite a few. So we managed to win, even though we didn't deserve it. I think um, they had the shots too, and it didn't look great. Um, we can see here that Saunders had a 9.3, Praktas a 9.5. Yeah, there were decent stats, definitely. We'll take it. We'll take the three points. Um, yeah. Why not? Let's have a, a quick peek at the, the league table. And we have a 10 point gap down to Newport County. And the league is looking good. I can't really say much else than. Well, the fact that, that we have a 10 point gap, um, we have played 25 games in the league, so there's there's 21 more to play, but we, we can afford to lose a few without losing our league position. And to the fourth, there's 12 points down. And uh, the top three will, of course, be automatically promoted. So if I finish first, second or third, it doesn't really matter. I still get automatic promotion. It's just that I want to, you know, I want the silverware. That's why I'm definitely pushing for for the first position. But you can see we won 17 out of 25 games so far, and that's that's not bad. That's really good, actually. But let's focus on the second game. We're playing Bolton away. They're sitting 20th in the league, and we first. So on paper we should win, um, but we know that that's not the occasion all the time that the, the better team on the paper will win um, but yeah I think we're ready for a pretty tough game um, hopefully we will push through and we will get three points and we will remain that gap down to the second team come on boys we're going with the rotation as well I forgot to say that but yeah I think they can pull it off Come on, three points. We simply have to focus on this man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And League 2 action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's Bolton Wanderers and they face Oldham Athletic. Trouble scoring goals that can't be said of their opponents, Lee. Well, Derek, in my experience... Team minutes played, 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can they take advantage of the situation? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. It's going their way, 2-0. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Ali Crawford. Sean Miller. And he did what he had to do defensively. Graham. Can he find the net? So the corner played into the box. Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. Poor effort. Well, he got a lot right there, but he got... To try to go through the middle. Graham. Oh, marvellous save. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And a decent delivery. Not far away at 
all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique and oh, so close. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. This looks threatening. Oh, it might be. Oh, the shot. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Good-looking sequence. And with the goalkeeper. Well, it petered out. And possession given away. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, you have to say, they did deserve the win. Two-goal margin might flatter them a little, but that won't bother them. It's three points in the bag. So that was a two goals to zero win. We managed to, to have a clean sheet, which is that's not often. We had five shots, two landed on target, and we scored twice, so that was good. Bolton had a 58% possession of the ball as well, and they had more shots than us. And so on paper they were they you know they were done. We, we did do counter attack, so that's why we usually not have that much possession possession, sorry. Um you can see Pratt's having an 8.3, he had a good game, he had a really good game, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that the reserve or the rotation squad managed to, to get three points, they also managed to, to have a clean sheet, and managed to get three points away to Bolton, beautiful. The next game, I should say the third game probably, will be us playing Stevenage. We're playing them at home at the Boundary Park and uh, we are we have been strong um, on our home field. So we, we hopefully will continue to be that. Um, the three points that we can get now it's you know the, the, the more wins we get uh, the closer we're gonna get to the league title and I just want to I just want to get this season over with so we can actually lift the you know, the, the silverware and be, be champions of League 2. We're going to play the, the last team, so say, in the league. They are dead last, Stevenage. So, hopefully we're going to get a few goals. Um, quite a few, if, if we're lucky. Um, but, we'll see. Um, sometimes it's really tight when you play the bottom team. But, hopefully... I'm going with the first team this time, um, since the, the rotation played away against Bolton. So the first team is going to get some, some game time, and hopefully we can see a few goals. Come on boys, let's go. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. It's Oldham Athletic, and they take on Stevenage. Well, I'm excited about this one. Great atmosphere in here. Everybody looking forward to this game, especially me and you. Thank you. Enjoy the game. The match is underway. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Scunthorpe United. Five minutes played, 1 0. Thank you, Alan McInerney. Three minutes played, 1 1. Cheers again, Alan. There to win it back. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Ball played nicely. And there to intervene. And there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. And he's in. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. So 2 0 now. Marshall. Well, showing good defensive judgment. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAdane to tell us more. It's a goal for the home team. In with a chance. Is it going to be? And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Three goals without reply. And unfortunately. 54 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Could cross it in here. Marshall. Well, body in the way. Now potential danger. Will it be? Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. An attack full of promise, and he's broken free. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. And we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. He's given a corner, their referee. Well, for understandable reasons, we had to cut off Alan McAdally. Once again, to repeat the news, a goal for the away side in that game. And they're on top currently, 3-1. Oh, in with a chance! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his... It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. One minute remaining. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure. So we win six goals to zero. Um, we did have 11 shots, we landed 8, and they had 4 shots, landed 3. They did have the possession, 51%, but that's because we play as we do with our style, with the counter-attacks. Um, it was a great game, uh, we did manage to score 6 goals and we could see that Field, he scored 4 in a row and uh, giving him a 10.0 rated. So he, he had a great game. Well, everyone had a great game in the team, I guess. Um, Saunders had three assists. Um, yeah. So that was good. Good game. Three very beautiful points into our account. And uh, the league is still looking good. We can't forget that they were they're sitting 24th and so dead last. But let's let's just enjoy the three points instead.
And we can see here that uh, Davidovich is out on loan. He's gone for two years, two year loan. And of, of course that's because we have both Pratt and uh, Field and Wang. So we have three great forwards and we're going to see if Davidovich can grow elsewhere because he's not going to get many minutes. Yeah, so the last game of this episode is a big one. We're playing Leicester in the FA Cup. We're playing them away at the King Power Stadium. Come on, let's let's see if we can push through. Come on, boys. Cameras trained on one man in terrific form and top scorer in the competition. Stay with us on EA TV as he tries for more. Well, rain is the order of the day. Unfortunately, this is the scene here at the King Power Stadium. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's Leicester City and they face Oldham Athletic. Well, thank you, Derek. With being big favourites, complacency can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go through. Can they put the pressure on in the first 20 minutes and hold out and then try and nick the game in the second half? It could be a fascinating head-to-head -head confrontation, this. And Leicester City get the proceedings underway. Tielemans might be onto something with that ball. Doniel Malin. And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. It could be... Sedin here. Looks promising, this. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. An incisive pass. Can he keep his composure? Is it going to be a truly magnificent start? An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. One nil then. Creative look about this. Has someone to play it to. What a vital intervention. I'm trying to go through the middle. Tielemans. Dangerous looking attack. And the cross goes in. Just the clearance that was needed. Not much time to make up his mind. On sloppy in possession. An attack full of promise. Surely the equaliser. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Even Steven won a piece Leicester on this match. Number 10. Mitsu. And attempting the through ball. Oh, that's a fine save. Doniel Malin in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. They could nudge in front. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! That hard. Well, 2-1 it is here. Chowdhury for attacking possibilities. Can he put it away? Ball is loose. And it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Real chance. Will he finish? Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one situation. In possession, at De Boer. And a good-looking ball. Cuts it back. Oh, a tremendous block. 
Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And firing it into the area. Well, the manager can't hide his disappointment and not extending the lead there. He's still on a knife edge. Tielemans. Real danger. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves... No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Counter attack came to nothing. It's a good looking ball in behind, and he could cash in. Just cut. Gray. And teammates to play it to. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Is it going to be? He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. And that's it, the final whistle, and the hosts will go through. Well, you have to say it was a good performance today, Derek. They were certainly tested at times, but they... So, we lost three goals to one. Uh, we did score the first goal, and this, you know, I, I, it gave me hope, but they were just too strong. Leicester, way too strong. They had 62% possession, and they dominated the game. Um, we, we could say we were lucky that we only conceded three they could have scored six goals without you know they were just a lot better than us but they are a Premier League team and we are a League Two team so there should be a difference and there is but that was the last game of this episode uh, we're gonna have uh, we got the, a few scout reports back so let's see uh, we can get rid of him we will get rid of the uh, we can sign this guy, Almar. Um, Brem will leave us. Hauksson can leave us too. Let's see. What Scotland brings? McGill? No. Cummings? No. Let's have a look at him. McMillan? Bell? Armstrong? Could have a look at Daniels, maybe. Gardner will not make it. Hyde will not make it. Sadler, can we? We could have a look at him. Interesting goalkeeper. Gibbs, could we? No, let's. Hogg will not make it. And Francis will not make it. So we got a few into the academy. We're gonna have a, a few looks at what they do. We see we get a bid on of fields from Leon the French and yeah I don't want to sell him he's just he just came into the team and it's not one of the powerhouses he has the potential to be special so he could be a, like a mid not mid 90s but maybe like a 92 so yeah I'm, I'm not selling him but <clears throat> we're gonna start off next episode with a game a cup game when we play Wickham so but that's for the next episode this episode is done and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this I hope you enjoyed it we got some really great wins in the league and we got a tough loss in the FA Cup but that's how it is um, I do hope you guys stay healthy and just you know, be kind to each other and I'll see you in the next episode which will be 25 Till then, you walk good.